Okay, Manchester United are currently in an absolute crisis. Whether it's injuries, club drama, the manager, the owners, everything has gone wrong at Old Trafford. But today we change that, as it's time to bring Man United back to the top of European football. Eric Ten Hag has been sacked. Um, Eric Ten Hag Stir has been brought in, and it's up to me to rebuild this team. Now, it is going to take a lot of work, but one way or another, we will make Manchester United the best team in the world again. So drop a like down below, and let's get into it. Now, this season in real life, Man United have had their worst start to a season, I believe, in like 38 years. Years. That is actually insane. Like, what has gone wrong in this team? Now, I don't think it's like one singular thing. I think it's a multitude of reasons all bunched up into one, pretty much causing chaos. Whether it's Ten Hogs' uh, decision making, whether it's the owners, uh, certain players staying in the club, we got a lot to fix today. And we still have good players to build around, like Bruno Fernandez. I don't think he's exactly captain quality, but he's still a quality player. If we can get Rashford in form, that'd be a huge plus for the team. We have a young superstar on the bench in Alejandro Garnacho, and also the player we're gonna build this team around, the main player of this rebuild. That is Rasmus Hoyland. I think for this rebuild, he's the most important player for us. We are going to put all our faith into him. Now, players that I'm going to try to look to sell. Since I'm putting all my faith into Hoyland, we're going to try and sell Anthony Martial. I just feel like it's time for him to move on. So, Martial transfer listed. Also, uh, Jane Sancho, I think his time at United is done. I can't see him staying at the club. Uh, probably going to sell players like Tony Van de Beek. Uh, definitely probably Harry Maguire. And then also probably Scott McTominay too. So, McTominay, Van de Beek, uh, Sancho, Martial, that's the four players we're going to try to sell in this first window. But they're not going to be the only players we sell. Now, in this first window, we have 210 million to spend. So, that's a very uh, decent amount. Now, I think we all know what this team needs the most. And that is a like number eight midfielder. I think Emrabat's a decent pickup for the bench, but I want Bruno to play Cam and I don't want Ericsson playing number eight because he's more of a Cam too. So what this team needs most is a really world-class box-to-box midfielder. So that is going to be our first target. And we got four players here. Yasuo, Kimmich, Barella, Goretzka, and also Benesset. You know, I think either of these players will be amazing in that midfield. Now, apparently Kimmich might leave uh, Bayern in like a season or two. I read something about his contract situation, like he's not renewed his contract yet. So could be a signing for later on this video. I can't see Goretzka leaving Bayern either right now for May United. So I think it's either going to be Barella or Benesset we go after. So I mean, if we compare, it looks like Benesset said obviously a little better defensively while uh, Barella has a little better passing and shooting. I feel like Barella will be the better option here. To pair alongside Casemiro in that midfield, I feel like that's a pretty good pairing. I mean, Barella is very agile. He's very quick on the ball. He's got insanely good passing too. He can even score a goal or two. So I think Barella is a better option here. Now he is going to cost a lot of money. Uh, Glazers, open your wallet. Because as uh, Ralph Rennick said, if you want to make this team the best team in the world, it needs open heart surgery. And that, uh, that requires some money. I'm going to try, let's try 84 to start. That's a healthy offer. That's respectable. 84, then we're 85. You know what? 85 plus a 10% selling clause. I can totally do that. Now, of course, this team needs a lot more than just one, like, very good player. It needs to get rid of players, sign multiple players, but this right here is a large step in the right direction for Man United. And he's only 26, so Brella's gonna be around for a while, too. So, just like that, that is our first signing of this Man United rebuild. Nicola Brella has taken a big risk by coming to Old Trafford at this point in our time, but Brella, welcome to Manchester United. It is a very big day. So, I'm about to the bench, and then, of course, Brella into that midfield, which instantly you see what that does to this team. Look how stronger that looks. Okay, first player to be sold is Scott McTominay. I just think this club needs to move to a new era. McTominay is part of that old era that we need to move on from. He has gone to West Ham for 19.3 million. Now, next up is going to be Anthony Martial. Man, when he scored that debut goal versus Liverpool, he looked like he was going to be like the next Mbappe type player, like one of the best in the world, but probably due to injuries, a lot of inconsistency, never really like reached his potential at Man United. And he is off to a Nottingham Forest. That is uh, quite the drop. And also now, Eric Ten Hag's uh, favorite player, Jaden Sancho. It just feels like there's no coming back from where uh, the drama is currently at. So Sancho is on his way out. And he's actually going to Arsenal. That would not be a bad move for him at all, I don't think. All right, so I think after signing Barella, that's the only signing we're going to make in the first window. I mean, it's a pretty big one, but we sold a few players that needed to leave, so the chemistry should be better in the team. All our faith put into Rasmus Hoyland up top. I want to see how this team performs in like the first like four or five months to get a reading of where this team is at. Is it going to be a disaster like real life, or can we actually like shock some people? We are going to find out. So then came opening day, and our first game of the season was against Wolves. A debut for Barella, and hopefully the start of a new era at Old Trafford. And you know what? In our first game, it was not a bad start. First goal of the game was scored by Captain Bruno Fernandez, which if he's in form, we're going to be a deadly team in this video. And then same thing for the next player as Marcus Rashford makes it 2-0. If these two are playing their best, then that's a whole different story for Manchester United. And just like that, our first game of the season was a 2-0 win. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to feel a little optimistic now. Now we face a huge test. The first game of the Champions League group stage versus Bayern Munich. And yeah, this game should give us a good reading on what kind of team we are. Facing one of the most consistently good teams in the world now with Harry Kane. Now in this one, Harry Kane did score the first goal of the game. We went 1-0 down early on. I mean, he's just on fire in Germany. But then something surprising happened. Happened. This team showed some fight as Rasmus Hoyland scores and makes it 1-1. Scoring in a game like this, it's a big moment for Hoyland. So it gets to pretty late in the game and it's 1-1. But somehow in Munich, we find a winner. And out of all players, it's Diogo Dallo, our right back. The unlikely hero in our first game in the Champions League group stage. So we just beat Bayern Munich 2-1. That right there is an absolute statement that this team may have found their energy and heart again. But a few weeks after that comes one of the biggest games of the early part of our season. The Manchester Derby at home versus Man City. 
game. Now we know in real life how this game went, and unfortunately for us, this game was gonna be a bit of a reality check for us. A early goal from Anthony gave us a one-nil lead, but then uh, Man City showed why they're the best team in the world with Erling Holland scoring one, and then Phil Foden getting the deciding goal to make it two-one. So our first true heartbreaking loss of the season. But hey, still, so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let's now get to January and see where this team is at. Okay, in January we're currently sitting in third place. Now Man City are showing why they're dominant though. They have not lost a game yet. Eleven points above us. Now the good thing is we're seven points above Arsenal and fifth, so we gotta stay in the top four this season. That's our main objective. Now for that Champions League group, we actually finished top going unbeaten in the group stage. So that's great. And if we look at the stats, we see Marcus Rashford is a top scorer. So it looks like he's found his form. And then Barella, eight and nine, second leading goal scorer. That's great for our new signing. Now Hoyland has eight goals. Eight goals, that's not bad. He's uh, grown plus two so far. We obviously want more, but eight goals, that's definitely not bad. Um, Anthony with seven, Bruno with six and three. Okay, so far I like what I'm seeing. So we do have 217 million to spend in January. Do we need any more signings this season? Honestly, I think the starting 11 looks okay for this season. And so far they've played well, so I don't want to change that too much. I feel like we could use more firepower on the bench though. Maybe a better right winger to be Anthony's backup for now. And I think I want to target like a younger player here for the future. Now we got Lazaro and also uh, Bakayoko. But I think the player I want to go after is Bradley Barcola from PSG. Now he's 21. He's a right winger to play also on the left. He's got really good pace and really good dribbling. And as a backup to Anthony at 78 rated. I mean, that's a huge upgrade on Palestri. So we're going to offer about 24 million. And PSG are just going to accept that. Okay, this is a no-brainer deal right here. Now I don't know about Anthony's future in this team. He's a player where I feel like he's not as good as his price tag. And if we start to struggle in this video, I feel like he's a player I'm going to look at to replace maybe. I mean, maybe Bradley could be his replacement. But for now, I think it'll be a very solid option off the bench. So Bradley Barcola brought into Manchester United in uh, January. Now it's not going to break headlines, but it's a high potential young player for the future. And I think that does make our bench uh, look a lot stronger. So I feel like that's not a bad pickup. Now after that signing, I think we're done for signings in this first season. I'm intrigued to see what this team can do. Now, if we can't make anything happen this season, I think next season we might make a lot of changes, but I want to see what this squad can do. Okay, Champions League knockouts have come around now. So run of 16, we are facing Real Sociedad. And we know they're a very good team, so this is not going to be easy, I don't think. So first leg is in Spain. Team looks ready to go. So this first leg is going to be 3-1. Bruno, Anthony, and Hoyland. Okay, that is a perfect first leg. Now second leg is going to be, uh, oh my, they almost just made a comeback. It's 2-3, 5-4 in aggregate. We go through, but uh, just barely. Anthony and Martinez scored. We literally almost just collapsed, but through to the Champions League quarterfinals now. Okay, now quarterfinals, it is Real Madrid versus Manchester United. And this is about to be tough. Okay, they got Evan Ferguson up top. That is such a weird signing. Wait, they have Trent and also John Stones? Okay, they have made some pickups. Man, is this squad good enough to beat this Real Madrid team? We are going to find out. First leg is going to be 3-2 to Real Madrid. Bellingham, uh, Hosolu and Ferguson score while uh, Garnacho and also Rashford scored for us. Okay, one goal deficit. That's not that bad. Can it now be a special night on Old Trafford to make a comeback against Real Madrid? It is going to be... Oh, it's going to be 2-2. Real Madrid knock out Manchester United. Man, Rashford scored a brace, actually. We almost made a comeback. The 78th minute winner from Hosolu sent Real Madrid through. Man, that is so unfortunate. So quarterfinals is where our Champions League dream ends of the season. Now, thinking about it, that's actually not that bad. Considering where United are in real life right now, the state of the club, that's definitely not bad. All right, so end of the season now. Let's see where this team finished. So Bournemouth, Lewintown, and Sheffield are relegated. Um, uh, okay, Chelsea in 12. That is very realistic, actually. Uh, we are in, of course. Okay, we're in the top four, which is good. Fourth is going to be Liverpool. Third is going to be, it's going to be Manchester United. Okay. Yeah, the table is pretty much the same as it was uh, that last time we saw it. So Man City almost finished on 100 points. And while we finished third, we are 17 points away from winning the Premier League. That shows the gap we're going to try and climb between us and Man City. But I would say a third place finish, that's definitely solid. I feel like maybe most United fans would take that this season, considering the start. Now, FA Cup is going to be... Oh, we were in the FA Cup final. We lost to Man City. We made it all the way to the final. We lost 4-2. I can't believe that. We could have won a trophy this season, at least. We missed out on that. Now, do we win the Carabao Cup? Carabao Cup is... Oh, it's going to be us. We beat Liverpool 2-1. Okay, we do win a trophy this season. I'll take that, although it's just the Carabao Cup. I will still take that. We do win at least one trophy. And our Champions League was won by uh, Napoli over Dortmund. Okay, that is uh, questionable. Now, stats for this season. Rashford scores 29. Hoyland scores 26. That is what I want to see. Um, Bruno, 15 and 12. Anthony, 14 and 8. Barella, 13 and 14. Man, he was great signing. Him and Bruno being uh, double digits in goals and assists. That is perfect for this team. And I'm so happy Hoyland, though. He's gone plus 4 now to 80 overall. I feel like season 2, he might break out even more. But okay, first season, third place finish. Uh, Champions League quarterfinals. I would say that's solid. I think next season, we get very, very serious, though. Even more serious. Okay, to start season 2, Juan Bisaka has left the club. And also, Harry Maguire has left. So already, two departures to start the season. And in season 2, we got almost 300 million to spend. And we're about to get down to business. Now, unfortunately, I think Varane is starting to drop an overall. So I'm thinking we might sign a good center back and then put Varane to the bench so he doesn't play every game. And then also Luke Shaw and Dallow. I feel like our fullback spots need improvements. And then, man, Anthony, he's the one player that I think in this attack that I feel like we can find a much better player. So there might be some big changes this season. There might be. I think it's time for some open heart surgery for this team. All right. So first, we're going to target a right winger to replace Anthony in the team. And man, a player that would be so good at Old Trafford is Cavada from Napoli. The way he just takes on players, like that's what you 
United miss a player that can do that and not only do that, but actually like do it well. Now he might cost a lot of money, but I feel like it's hundred percent worth it. Now I'm going to try to offer Anthony to swap. He's worth 51. I'm going to try to, let's maybe try Anthony plus like 70 million. Napoli are going to want 72. Okay. Honestly, that's not bad. 72 plus Anthony for Cavada. That is a done deal. If you ask me. Okay. Honestly, did not think that would work, but this is a huge way to start season two. Now, obviously he's going to play right wing. Uh, Rashford's going to be on the left, but man, what a signing Cavada has been brought to Old Trafford. That just went way more smooth than I thought it would, but Cavada, welcome to Manchester United. That is a start to a very big transfer window for us. Man, Hoyland, Bruno, Rashford, Cavada. I love that attack right there. Okay, next, I think right back is our most concerning spot. Now, I like Dallow, but I want him to go to the bench and we need to sign someone better. And hey, we might stay in Italy for this because man, Giovanni Di Lorenzo would be so good in this team. I mean, he's quick. He's like solid defensively. He'd be a huge upgrade over a Dallow. Plus, he's 30 years old, so he brings some experience, some leadership in the team. And that is what this team needs. So he might cost me like 50 million-ish. We're going to try maybe like 47.5. See what Napoli said to that. They are going to just flat out accept. Could I have got him for less? Oh, just endless regrets now. Still, I think it's worth it. So Giovanni Di Lorenzo, welcome to United. I guess we should be called Napoli United now. Hey, this team is starting to look deadly. Cavada, Di Lorenzo brought in. Now I'm still thinking center back and also maybe a left back, which we got 150 million to work with. Now at center back targets, we have Jimenez from Letico Madrid, Bermet from Juventus, and then Tamori from AC Milan. All would be pretty good, but also very expensive. And then left back, we have found Teo Hernandez, uh, Kieran Tierney, Galan, and also Grimaldo. Now, Teo Hernandez would be a dream signing for this team. Talk about fullbacks and Di Lorenzo and Hernandez, but he might be a little bit too expensive for us right now, especially if we want to sign a center back. I think a left back, Grimaldo might be the better option. He's a little bit cheaper and still an upgrade over Luke Shaw. So let's go after Grimaldo. I feel like it's the smarter option because then we have a better center back. So 37.5. Let's try that. And Leverkusen want Marcola. I'm not giving you Bradley. I just signed him. 40.7. We can do that. So we are going to sign up uh, Mr. Mr. Grimaldo up. So yeah, I would call this uh, pretty much open heart surgery. Cavada, Di Lorenzo, and now Grimaldo brought in. And we're not quite done yet. Basically 100 million left. And I'm thinking just one more signing here. Now I think it's between Bermed and Tamori because Jimenez is the same overall as Varane. And I want an upgrade on Varane and they're both the same age. Now Tamori is much quicker, although Bermed is still pretty quick. I think Bermed is just a little bit more physical. So man, this is not an easy choice. I think alongside Lissandra Martinez, we need a physical presence. And I think for that reason, Bermed is a better choice. But it is cutting it pretty close to our budget. So we're going to try this and Tamori is the backup option if this fails. But I feel like he would be very solid alongside Martinez. So we're going to try 60. Let's try 64. Juve are going to want 87 million. That's a lot of money. Uh, let's try 78. 78. Okay, 78 million. We could do that. And this has been a huge, huge transfer window for us. We're going all out in season two. Talk about some open heart surgery. Bermed is signed up. And this team just looks different now. Cavada, Di Lorenzo, Bermed, and also Grimaldo. Along with Barella, that is such a big change. But still the main players in there, Bruno, Rashford, Hoyland, and Martinez. I feel like this season, the possibilities are endless. And we're going for that Premier League title and also, of course, the Champions League trophy. With Hoyland still being like the head of our attack. I'm hoping for a breakout season from him. But I think obviously we're done with signings. The bench looks good. So we are set for the start of the season. And look who we're facing to start the Premier League season. Of course, it's going to be a Manchester derby as our first game of the year with this new look team. All these new players, like talk about a first matchup for us. But another derby at Old Trafford. This has got to be the season where we take off and actually try and challenge Man City for the title. And early on, look who scores the first goal of the game. It is new signing Cavada, the Cavada Dona. And I feel like he's going to become a fan favorite at Old Trafford. He's just relentless in attacking and he scores the first goal of the game. Now, soon after, unfortunately, Holland is an equalized, so it makes it 1-1. And then De Bruyne scores and also makes it 2-1 to Man City. So we're in the same spot as last season. But this year, this team is different. As Marcus Rashford scores, it makes it 2-2. And then the main man, Rasmus Hoyland, makes it 3-2 later on. We are minutes away from beating Man City in the first game of the season. And then, of course, Erling Holland though, is going to ruin that party. He's going to make it 3-3. And this game ends in a 3-3 draw. And it's so close to winning our first game of the season, but I think still that was a very positive game. I think we're showing that we're slowly closing that gap between us and Man City. All right, now it's time for the uh, first Champions League match of the year. Our group is Milan PSV and BSC Young Boys. So Milan PSV, I mean, that's not an easy group. First game is against Young Boys at Old Trafford. Now, last season, of course, quarterfinals, we got knocked out. This season, the Champions League, we got to be different. We got to push to challenge for that trophy. Our team is definitely good enough, and that shows in this first game. As Bruno Fernandez makes it 1-0, and then soon after, Cavada makes it 2-0. To cap off a very casual, you know, first game of the group stage, a 2-0 win. Then soon after came a very big meeting early part of our season. We are facing one of our fiercest rivals in Liverpool. Now, in recent history, Liverpool have slapped Man United a lot. This game could be a sign of a turning point in that matchup. And man, I gotta say, this season, a player that is just on fire still is Marcus Rashford. He's found his form and it stayed. Versus Liverpool, he scores the first goal of the game, makes it 1-0. And then he also scores the second goal and makes it 2-0. So a Marcus Rashford special actually won us this game. And it feels like right now something special is happening at Old Trafford. Now, midway point of this season, we are currently sitting in first place in the Premier League. Man, we have scored the most goals and have the second best defense, I think. Currently seven points above Man City. Man, that is great to see. And now Champions League, we once again finished top of our group. Now, three draws is not that great, but we didn't lose. Now, look at 
the stats. Once again, I'll say it again. Marcus Rashford is on fire. He's got 18 and 25, and then Bruno 13 and 11 and 27 games. Now, Cavada's only got four goals, and Hoyland only has five. I'm a little bit surprised there. With us playing as good as we are, I'm very surprised, actually. But hey, we're in first place. It's hard to find things to pick out here. The team overall is still playing very well together. And Cavada's with 88, Bruno's up to 89, Rashford 88. Players are growing, players are getting better. I feel like this season, we could do something very special with this team. So I don't think we're making any more signings this season. I am putting all my faith into this squad to try and do something special in the Champions League. So Champions League knockout time. This year, round of 16, we are facing Napoli first. So that's a very a decent matchup for our first knockout game. And also a homecoming for Cavada and also Di Lorenzo. But I feel like right here, I'm confident we have the better team. We can edge them out. So first leg is going to be 3-0. Bruno, Rashford, and Casemiro. Oh man, what a first leg. And second leg is going to be 1-1. So we close Napoli out. Rashford scores again. And once again, we are through to the Champions League quarterfinals. So quarterfinals, Dortmund, Milan, Leipzig, Leverkusen, Juventus, PSG, and then Liverpool versus Manchester United. So we are facing very familiar opponents here. And one of our fiercest rivals. Man, I feel like this would go either way. Uh, their team is still have Salah, Gakpo. Oh, they signed Militao. That's a pretty good signing. Okay, first leg at Anfield is going to be 2-1 to us. Okay, cast middle on Rashford. Man, Rashford is like the star of this video. Come on, one goal lead going back to Old Trafford now. We got to close them out. This game is going to be 3-1. Barella, uh, Cavada, and also Hoyland. 5-2 in aggregate. We make it to the Champions League semis. I'm feeling optimistic about this team right now. Okay, Champions League semis. We have lucked out here. We have Leverkusen. On oh, Milan, PSG, other side. So Leverkusen, who they beat? They beat Leipzig. And uh, they also beat Benfica. Okay, they haven't beat many good teams. So we are heavy favorites in this matchup. So first leg is going to be 3-1. Casemiro, Mason Mount off the bench. Okay, Hoyland got hurt. That is not good. But Bruno scores the third. Hoyland, please don't be hurt. That's such a good first leg though. Okay, thankfully it's just a pulled calf, so he's going to be back in about a week. Now that means he might miss the second leg, but if we make it to the final, Hoyland should be back in time for that. And we are very lucky there. So second leg without Hoyland. Two goal lead though. This one is going to be 1-1. Bradley Barcola scores in Hoyland's place. And we have made it to the Champions League final. Okay, let's see where this team finished in the Premier League. So going down our Leicester, Brentford, and Middles bro now of course we should be in the top four which uh, we are we're top three actually which is good three is gonna be man city so it's us and arsenal right two is gonna be arsenal and that means we have won the premier league title on 93 points once again the best team in england 14 points above man city the turns have tabled now fa cup was won by manchester united two out of two trophies so far now carabao cup is gonna be won also by manchester united three one against millwall so that is the domestic treble now going for the quadruple in the champions league final in which we are facing AC Milan. Man, we have turned this team around so much. Final stats for the year. Rashford and Bruno, 36 goals and 33. And then, hey, Hoyland, 19. That's still not bad for a 22-year-old. But Barella, 14 to 10. Cavada, only 8. A little bit disappointing. But once again, we just won the domestic treble. It's hard to pick out players that didn't play well. It's hard to want more out of this team. But man, just one more game left to become the best team in the world. The Champions League final versus AC Milan. So they got Rafael Leal. They got Callum Wilson, Chiquese, uh, Chavez, Reindeers, Benesset, Ateo Hernandez, Romero Tamori, Gertruda, and also Mainian. Callum Wilson up top for Milan in the Champions League final. That is so weird. We are ready. Champions League final. Just one win away from becoming the best team in the world. Come on, Eric Ten Hoxter has done such a good job with this team. Open heart surgery now leads back to the top. And I feel like we have a very good chance of winning this. So Champions League final, we got to get it done. Rasmus Hoyland gets us kicked off. Let's make United the best team in the world. Okay, we need a very good start here. Barella gets it out to uh, Mr. Grimaldo. We're going to try to find Rashford. That was nowhere near Rashford, actually. Martinez, good steal into Cavada. Cavada gets it over. There's Rashford. Rashford back to Cavada. Cavada. Cuts inside. Tries to play to someone. Oh, man. It's going to be blocked by Hernandez. Okay, there's a lot of space for uh, Ace Milan. A lot of bad space, actually. Okay. Vermed just absolutely destroyed that man. Leal gets behind, and they score the first goal of the game. Man, the one player we got to be afraid of scores. Man, our defense was, like, way out of position there. Not a good start to this Champions League final. Okay, we now need a response. We can't go down like this. Rashford, true Grimaldo. Grimaldo gets it to Holland. Okay, try to there. Rashford, Bruno. Over to Cavada. Cavada will turn. Finds a shot. Cavada shoots and Cavada scores and makes it 1-1. 15 minutes in. That is a instant response. That is exactly what we needed. Yeah, Cavada is so direct. He's so good in the box. Okay, 1-1. 15 minutes in. Cavada gets it to Casemiro. Now get it up to Bruno. Bruno into Hoyland. Hoyland gets it to Barella. This is some good passing here. Cavada. Casemiro to Di Lorenzo. Now Di Lorenzo crossover. All the way to Marcus Rashford. Goes for a volley and Mignon makes the save. Hey, that was a pretty good chance that I did not even plan for. Okay, Chiquese, Martinez, Martinez. You got to catch up here. Jaquese goes for a shot, and Onana can't make the save. Bro, Jaquese was so fast there. It is 2-1 to AC Milan. Yeah, that one touch, no one can catch up there. We had no chance to catch up. Okay, AC Milan retake the lead. This might be an absolutely insane final, but we got to sharpen up here. We're supposed to have a much improved defense. Where is it at, though? Leal, Leal gets it over to him. Okay, Martinez just maybe saved a goal there, then Grimaldo will control it. Okay, that is so shaky, but we survive it. Bruno, good pass to Cavada. Cavada, great touch. Cavada could 
tied this up again and Kavada ties it up again. Bruno Fernandez to Kavada. Another instant response. Man, that was such a good ball by Bruno too though. Come on, we gotta stop them scoring. 34 minutes in, there's already four goals scored. Oh, Barella, that's a great steal right there. Grimaldo to Barella, Barella to Bruno. Bruno tries to feed in Hoyland. Man, Hoyland made a great run right there. The ball just couldn't reach him. Bruno gets to Rashford. Come on, boys. Get this go-ahead goal. Hoyland holds it up. Gets it out to Grimaldo. Grimaldo's got Bruno in the middle. Gets it to Bruno. Bruno, one more pass to Barella, and that's gonna be 3-2. Okay, the passing there was perfect, and we have taken the lead pretty much right on half time. And it's another new signing getting it done. Yeah, this passing here is so good. Bruno plays that one extra pass with a better shot. Okay, 3-2, and that right there is half time. Come on, we gotta take over in the second half, though. We gotta take over. Show that we are the best team in the world. Casemiro, that is a great tackle again. Bruno to Di Lorenzo. Now Di Lorenzo has Hoyland. Hoyland picks out a pass. Rasmus Hoyland, what a finish to make it 4-2. You gotta be kidding me. What kind of finish was that? The young superstar of this team, Rasmus Hoyland, makes it 4-2. Di Lorenzo, great cross. But Hoyland decides to go for this. Just an insane volley. Like, the angle on that is insane. What a way to start the second half. Come on, let's keep it up. 4-2. Take control of this final of the trophy. Bruno over the top to Marcus Rashford. We got Hoyland. Far post, Rashford dinks it up. Hoyland header attempt, and it's going to be 5-2. It is Mr. Hoyland again. And we are starting to take over this final. Man, Bruno has passed Rashford, just opened up that whole play. And it's a simple goal for Hoyland. Okay, this right here is their chance to get back in this game. Pass in the middle. Chavez gets it back to Leao. Romero needs to make a tackle. Romero can't make the tackle. Chavez, nope, Martinez makes the tackle. And oh man, that might be it for AC Milan. Despite those first two goals, we have just played amazing. This new United is just a force to be reckoned with now. Okay, they got a free kick. If they score this, I will scream. There's no way he's scoring this, right? There's no way. It's going to be... Uh, it's gonna be Ben said. That isn't even close. Bro, AC Milan, they just uh, ran into a brick wall today. And that brick wall was us. But oh man, that is it. We have done it. Ref blows the final whistle. We have made United the best team in the world by winning the Champions League. And like I said, despite those two goals we conceded, we just took over this Champions League final. Man, Di Lorenzo, Bermed, Grimaldo, Cavada, Barella. We have transformed this Manchester United team and have now made them the best team in the world. So Bruno Fernandez gets to lift that beautiful trophy. Once again, Manchester United are Champions League winners yet again bruno lifts a trophy what a moment for us i would say that's job done so of course drop a like if you enjoyed this rebuild you want to see more of them let me know in the comments who we should rebuild next and if you want to watch the first episode of our newcastle united career mode then click on screen to watch that